Do, 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 do. Welcome <laughs> to the Disney Discord Podcast Live. I really like that. That might actually be the jingle. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, welcome everybody and welcome to another Disney Discord Podcast Live. I think I named it properly there. We have a lot to cover tonight. My name is Graham. I'm from DLRP Roundup and tonight I'm joined by Bernardo. Yes, it's me from the Main Street News. Welcome everyone. Um. So it's been a very exciting week. Now, this is a very Disneyland Paris um, podcast. We will cover some other parks, but it's mostly Disneyland Paris tonight. We have a lot to talk about. A lot was announced this week. Can you give us an oversight, Bernardo, of just what we have heard? Of course. So last week, last Friday, it was the the 32nd anniversary of Disneyland Paris. And Disney, Disney held a several events throughout the day, which included some very waited for, uh, awaited for news, uh, mostly regarding Walt Disney Studios, um, which includes the new name for Walt Disney Studios, new concepts, new information regarding what's going on, and um, yeah, so we have a lot to talk about today, which is nice. So where do you want to start? I mean, you've put on you've put on yeah. the uh, you've put on the agenda that you think we should cover the name first. So let's yeah. get into the name. Yes. So um, the new Walt Disney Studios name uh, Disney just revealed that, and uh, it is Disney Adventure World. So um, yeah, <laughs> uh, that's the name. Now. Um, <laughs> We, we've had a lot of uh, discussion regarding said name. Uh, a lot of people don't like said name. Other people, most people uh, from my polls say that it's a, a kind of, let's say, mid name. So it's not bad. It's not great. Um, and uh, a few people do enjoy the name. So where do you stand, Graham? What, what would you say regarding this new Walt Disney Studios? This- this is where um, I'm probably going to upset absolutely everyone, so I'll say it now. Join us in the chat, and you can drop your own comments in the chat, and we want your comments. We will read them out live, or you can join us on the stage, and you can discuss yeah. it and fight with us live. <laughs> I'm going to be really controversial. I think it's quite a good name. Okay. I don't. I don't think there's such a thing as a great name, and I don't think there's such a thing as a bad name. Um, mm-hmm. I think that... There are... I really don't like that Disneyland Paris is Disneyland Park Paris and mm-hmm. isn't doesn't have a name. It's kind of, you know, are you in the Disneyland? Are you in Disneyland Resort? Are you in Disneyland Paris, the resort or the park? I think that yeah. creates a lot of difficulty. Um, oh, yeah, definitely. The Walt Disney Studios, again... People are going to say, oh, it had Walt's name in it and it was a homage to Walt Disney, but was it really? I mean, really, was that the <laughs> park that we should have named after Walt Disney? You know, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> I mean, if you were going to rename Disneyland in Anaheim to Walt Disney's Disneyland or Walt's Disneyland, I would understand that. But the second park in Paris as it was for the last 10 years, is that really the... The best the, you can do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, is that the name child the the progenitor of the Disney um, company? Probably not. So I don't I don't think it was a bad thing to rename it. I think it had lost its whole studio's mm-hmm. sort of backlot nonsense years ago. So it, it does need renamed. Would I rename it Disney Adventure World? <sighs> What's a good name? I mean, people didn't like Epcot when Epcot was built. They were like, who knows what the word Epcot means? Yeah. And it took took a while for that. Disney's Hollywood Studios, they hated that. And they hated Disney's Animal Kingdom, saying that, you know, it just sounds like it's just a rip-off of the Magic Kingdom. So, I don't mm-hmm. I don't really know. Tokyo Disney Sea, again, it, it doesn't... Does it say anything? I mean, do the names matter? This is probably a bigger thing. They have to have yeah, a name. Do but, the names but do matter? matter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, that's does a, anybody a... say... That's a great question, actually. And then I think we've got, you know, you've got Universal's Port Aventura, you've got Islands of Adventure, you've got um, 
Well, it was actually Universal Mediterranean, but you know, Port, Port of Ventura. Yeah, the, the, the um, port was still Port of Ventura. Yeah, so you've got Port of Ventura, you've got Islands Adventure, you've got Epic Universe, you've got you know, it, to be totally honest, people, there's the boats. Let's let's look at the cruise the cruise ships. They're named the you know the fantasy, the magic, the dream, the, the you know they have absolutely yeah, not. Yeah, they're yeah. just words. <laughs> and I don't think we're particularly. I don't think calling it Adventure World gives it quite a grand name. And I think yeah, that definitely, the definitely. the one big positive to it being called Adventure World, they are going to have to invest heavily because someone's going to be like, "Where is the world? Um, Where is the adventure?" <laughs> the other big There's problem no adventure we had. In your Disney Adventure World. You're right, and the the the, the big problem they had. Is Walt Disney World is considered Walt Disney World, like the big, the bad, the big cheese, the one mm. that everybody should visit. And Disneyland Paris was always seen as the smaller brother, or the smaller sister, something like that. And I yeah. think that by giving it this grand name, that you know, Adventure World, people are like, well, we'll have to go across there because it's got world in the name. This is big. But now you have... Yeah. You know, you're going to have the, the utter confusion of dads and mums up and down the country now being like, we're going to Disney World, but not the one in Florida. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. we've now got two Disney Worlds. So... I think there was... I, I, just, I, I was just thinking about this today. Because if they had the Disney's Adventure World, I think that it would fix a bit of the, the problems that come with the, the, the word world which is associated with Disney World, because you yeah. see it as, you know, that's Disney's Adventure World, not Disney Adventure World, where the adventure might be lost in the, in the conversation, you know? And that's, that's something I don't comprehend Disney. Why are they taking off all their names? The Disney's, the DS. Yeah. It used to be Disney's Animal Kingdom and Disney, uh, Disney's Hollywood Studios, you know, it, it's no more. It's Disney Animal Kingdom and Disney Hollywood Studios. It kind of separates the Disney from the park, which I think was great. But yeah. Yeah. Well, we've got in the chat, we've got uh, some feedback here. Oh my God, I can't pronounce half these names. Gimli, Gim, Gimix Lou. You Gimix can shout at me. Yeah. <laughs> Gimix Lou, you can shout at me in the chat. Um, Disney Studios World would be a better name for the park. The adventure doesn't make sense. Um and then Talis Alan Kill. Um, what better adventure than a road trip? A cars road trip. You know. Indeed. So what would you the call it, adventure. Bernardo? You 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 do all these yeah. random videos and you explore this in depth. What would you call the park? <laughs> yeah. So I kind of gave a couple of options uh, two weeks ago in a video. I would have called it either Disney's. Or Disney Cinemagic Park, or Disney Hollywood Adventure. That was the two names I gave. Um, so Hollywood Adventure wasn't too far far out, uh, but I think that Cinemagic Park would be kind of special because it would not only pay homage to Cinemagic, which was the you know the the show attraction that opened with Walt Disney Studios back in two thousand and two. Um, but also kind of stand out. I think the major problem with Disney Adventure World is that it doesn't stand out as much as other names, because Adventure World is kind of a basic thing many theme parks already use, you know? Yeah. Um, so yeah, that, those two were my, my personal ideas and my personal favorites. Well, Endeavor he says here, Disney Studios Adventure. Um, I think if I refer back to what Natasha said, during the presentation, she said, no longer will it be knowing, known as the other park. It will mm -hmm. now be a main park. So, clearly, they, they, they want two big parks. They don't want a big park and a little park. So, I, I mean, I personally don't care what they called it. If it was going to fit with Disney's Parisian Adventure would have fit like Disney's Californian Adventure. Um, yeah, I would have thought there was maybe some scope there. Ultimately, I don't really care what they call the park. It, it you know what they've renamed Disneyland oh, yeah. Paris about twelve between, times. Between, so between the name and the investment the park needs, I don't care about the name. You know, yeah. they can call it whatever they want. Uh, uh, 
if they invest big in it, you know, they can call yeah. it. And, and I think Disney Adventure World kind of kind of requires some big investment because it's it's not a you know it's not a small park kind of name. It's a world. So wh- it's where's a world. the world? It's not a <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a world. Show us the world. <laughs> I can hear it already. Show us the world. <laughs> anyway, the, the, the name matters so little that we've spent so much time on it already. But so ro- <laughs> roll on. We've got we've got some of the announcements. Walk us through some of the big announcements. Yes, sure. So um, world premiere. Uh, that's the. F- First land, I think, uh, you enter when you enter the park. So world premiere is going to be the whole side um, of from the front lot, which is the entrance to the production courtyard, or mm-hmm. from Worlds of Pixar to Avengers Campus. So that whole area, including Studio One. Um, mm-hmm. World premiere is going to be this this major um, storytelling device. I guess that's what Tom Fitzgerald said, because the park will be kind of separated into two main parts. One's the I don't I don't remember exactly what he said. I think it was the experience and the adventure or something like that. So the experiences is the part where you enter the park from. So you have the theaters that play Mickey and the Magician and Together and a Disney Disney Junior uh, show and um, that whole thing. And then you also have Studio One, which will now have a big facade of a theater, which is, I think it's a Disney theater. Um, it's going to be this big thing, the big icon, new icon of the park. Mm-hmm. Um, so pretty much the park's going to be, as I said, separated into two, that part. And then the adventure, which is going to be everything from Avengers Campus to Worlds of Pixar to World of Frozen. And later on... Um, you know, the third land that um, will be eventually, one day, hopefully announced. And everybody thinks that'll be the Lion King. Yes. Pretty much. Hmm. Um, So this premiere concept, it replaces the whole sort of tarmac and sort of grey top that we've got at the entrance of the park. The whole... Studio mm-hmm. One experience is getting renewed because it's not very good. It's very much a bottleneck it, for getting in and out of the park. Yeah. Um, we have mm-hmm. massive amounts of walls up just now because they're tearing up the tarmac. I have enjoyed... I don't know if you... Are you in any Facebook groups? Disney Facebook groups? No. Can't say You're I lucky. So, <laughs> there are people who are like, I can't believe we're missing out on so much that this horrible refurb is everywhere. And that, that it's ruined this once in a lifetime holiday. Mm. Bringing these people to the podcast and being like, could you explain to me which bit of the tarmac you really wanted to visit? <laughs> because there's nothing there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're, very, you're very excited to go and see <laughs> literally nothing. Like, this is not. <laughs> This is not something that you would want to partake in. So anyway, there's a good bit of yeah. people who are very upset about the amount of oh, well. work that's being done. And I don't think they realise they're missing out on, you know, possibly one Nothing. food food cart, one cart that does <laughs> that sold some merch and yeah. other than that, a whole you know, like you could go to your local supermarket car park and have just as much fun. Um, <laughs> So, the artwork is quite specific. It tells us we're going to have this, and we've seen the sign, the big Disney sign um, that's going inside mm-hmm. there. Um, yes. A throwback to the the sort of glory days of the Holly, uh, Hollywood, yeah, exactly, um, and mm-hmm. the the, the theatres. There's small little, you know, nods to things like they've now got Fox because you're getting a search like picture stand and things, which I think. Um, was it DLP Works that was going through all the small yes. details? Yes, yes, which, they did a, a really very, very nice thread, uh-huh, which, which they they went through uh, many small details. Which was they very did, fun. and I like that thread because it basically for people like me who were very busy during the announcement, <laughs> um, it caught it caught up on a lot of that. Um, 
The other great thing we're seeing is there's a bit more foliage, there's a bit more greenery, it's going to get broken up a little bit, the sight lines are going to be broken up a little bit, and it's going to be a little bit less, you know, everything at yeah, once. Inside Studio One, I think it's going to feel a lot bigger, because yeah. the whole right side of facades that hide the, the restaurant will be completely demolished. They're not yeah. going to be there anymore, and in their place, you're going to have this very uh, nice um, seating area for the the new restaurant, um, yeah. and a huge tarp uh, or themed tarp will be going all around it. So you're, you're going to have the, I think you're going to have the Hollywood Hills with the the sign Hollywood sign on top, um, and I think that's that's going to look very nice and a, a lot really bigger nice and well. more. Yeah, it's going to be. I think and it's going to be quite nice. And then you come out. And you're outside, yes. and then you come out. You come out through the Disney uh, theater. So you're going yeah. into the screen. You're going into the worlds of the movies um, we all know and uh, hopefully, hopefully love. Yeah, and then you've got this fantastic long um, promenade that takes you all the way up yes. to the lake. It's huge. Um, very big promenade. A very long promenade. And that that itself is some sort of luscious greenery and side paths and you'll be able to um pop off into Toy Story Playland from it. And then a little bit further mm -hmm. back you've got Ratatouille. Um on the left side there's I have no idea what it is. It it looks like I don't know, meet a princess or have a piddle with a princess or something. I'm not entirely sure. The left side. That's uh, one of the pavilions. Yeah. It'll mostly host uh, backstage stuff, but also a oh, snack it's... location. I'll yeah. also have a toilet. So, uh, nope. a toilet I'm telling yeah. you, that there will be a toilet there. That's it, it, prime it, it, toilet it location. Toilet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, remember, they built, what was it, peeing with Rapunzel across in the Magic Kingdom. Like, There's an entire Rapunzel section. <laughs> All that's in it is a bunch of toilets. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough, poor Rapunzel. I mean, because it's—is it not? The best is thing it, she could get was a block of toilets. <laughs> yeah, it was the best thing Rapunzel could get was a block of toilets. But it's the same here, is it not? Because we've got the Tangled Spinner Ride thing. Mm -hmm. Tangled, Did it like, get a name? Tangled, uh, yeah, I don't remember. It was. Tangled. Oh, it's called yeah, Rapunzel Tangled oh, Spin. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Rapunzel Tangled Spin. So yes, well, well, well named Disneyland Paris. That one must have just flown after the the artistic <laughs> brilliance of Disney Adventure World. What will we call this? The Rapunzel Tangled Spin. <laughs> <It> just <laughs> we're lucky it doesn't matter. We're re but how do you go from Welcome to the World of Batu on you know in Galaxy's Edge to? Yeah. Here we are, Adventure World with Tangled Spin by Rapunzel. <laughs> like it, it really is like. Yeah, well, <laughs> I guess. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's up there with the Toy Soldiers Parachute Drop, you know, like. Oh, yeah. they just. Do you well, know what? Good on them. Good on them for just putting it out there and. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> Will we worry about this? No. We'll just call it what it, what it looks like. Like, it just. Oh, I mean, they, it literally they amaze is me. Yeah, you know, like, well. the people who come up with things like Mickey's Philhar Magic, and mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, the Orbitron and Utopia, and they have such cool names. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is Rapunzel's Tangled Spin. <laughs> <laughs> it just oh, oh help. Anyway, in the comments, Jojo says it's a bit of an Epcot setup for Disney's Adventure World. Um, just other themes. Front World Premier, Premier Plaza, the celebration of movies, the back, the lake, um, Adventures Campus, P um, Pixar is the immersion in the movies. When you hear it, it makes sense, but it feels like it needs the ex explanation still. That, yeah, is yeah. Prob that is probably correct. People, but do you know what? The average guest that's going has no idea what they're going to see. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. But but what Jojo is saying is is quite quite right. It literally is the same kind of um, layout as Epcot. You know, you have the, the whole world celebration area, and then you have the world showcase. This is pretty much the same thing. It also has a lake in the middle of the second land. It, it's, you know, it's going to feel a lot like Epcot 
with just IPs, I guess. Yeah. And the Epcot Excuse layout me. is terrible, so. Yeah. Maybe and they'll rename have... Epcot. Maybe it won't be the experimental mm-hmm. prototype community of tomorrow because it's not. And it'll maybe it isn't, yeah. <laughs> it isn't. Disney's World Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Just rotate <laughs> the two words. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Endeavor, will there be a parade or just a late show? Well, the initial um, concept art actually explicitly showed a parade. So yes, and the, in fact, the concept art that they've put out just now. I'm looking at it just now. Um, take it with a pinch of salt. They updated the frozen mountain to be a bigger mountain. Yep. Um, there's still a parade in the corner. There is still yes. physically a parade in the top right corner which is of funny, that. So. Which is funny, because the permits, the construction permits, show that the parade um, route will be on the other side of the lake. So it's going to be yeah, on the they, other side. It, it they can't show it. We don't talk about that side now because it did. It yes. did have a Star Wars world in it. It's been. We don't, we don't talk well, about until the, Star Wars. the the other thing is up until you know very very recently there has been a picture of Star Wars in Disney's Adventure World. Like the bizarre yeah. thing is, it was an, is people are like, oh, it was never announced. It was absolutely announced. Oh yeah. Um it was in the it picture. You could you could you could go and take your picture beside it. Like it was a hundred percent a thing. Um oh, yeah. like, oh, you're, back, you're... back in twenty eighteen. Back in twenty eighteen they specifically said it was going to be a Star Wars land. So there's no Did you know you done the, the maps, didn't you? They released a series of pictures and everything. <laughs> you overlaid it and it ended up being <laughs> it was literally Rise of Resistance or something. Yes, it was. It was literally just Rise of Resistance and a little bit of extra land. So it yeah. wasn't a Galaxy's Edge. It wasn't a fully fledged. It was like half the size of Galaxy's Edge, and that's on a good day. So, so I'm saying get... yes. You're you're getting Disney's Adventure Parade. Yeah, I think so. I think that's that's safe to say. And then there's the the Lake Show as well, which. According to the rumors, which are quite a bit old now. Um, Disneyland Paris bought the barges from Tokyo Disney Sea's Fantasmic. Um, so, and we all know Graham uh, seems to think there's going to be a Fantasmic no matter what. I'm no, not so true. sure. That is true. <laughs> you can, uh, guys, guys, we can, we spend ages in this place talking about rumors. You can take this one home. It will be Fantasmic. <laughs> well, you heard it from him. Um, you heard it from me. And when I'm, well, I'm often, you know, I told everybody there'd be a phantasmic announcement on the same day, and there on a random yeah. Tuesday, sorry, and there was, and there was, and there was. So, just saying, just saying. No, um, no, the one no, other thing I should that. say though is it's worth noting that while they've put out brand new concept art, the brand new concept art also has a picture of Disneyland Park and uses a very outdated picture of the castle. So. Yeah, Disneyland Paris are always on fire with this sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the castle's out to eat in the picture. Oh, there it is. They actually do. The toilet that I was talking about isn't. It is actually a bandstand. There's a little bandstand where there's people playing jazz music. Oh, so you were talking about the English gardens. I thought you were talking about further I on. Have no, I have no idea. I'm just looking yeah, at yeah, the so picture. The, the, those are the, the English gardens. Uh, oh, which, wow. is, which has a little gazebo. Yeah, for playing dreadful music, no doubt. Um, <laughs> hopefully it keeps some people busy. Um, let's talk about the Regal Restaurant. I mean, here we go, the Regal View Restaurant. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like, what, what's the one that... The, what's the, the Royal Pub or whatever it is in Disney the Springs? Royal Pub. Mm-hmm. We've got Disney. the Regal Restaurant and the Royal Pub. Oh, <laughs> help me. Like this... <laughs> I mean, who named these things? The Regal Restaurant. Is this because it looks at the castle? It is. That has to be it. It's directly across from the castle. I think it has to do... uh, Because it's going to be a character dining experience with uh, princesses. Yeah. We've got Animal Kingdom Lodge, Kidani Village and everything. And the best we could come up with is the Regal View Restaurant. No, because you get a good view of everything. So you, oh. it's like 
it, it, it kills two birds with one stone. It's perfect. It's not perfect in any circumstance. <laughs> Again, no one will care. So, you know, this is Disneyland Paris. This is an amusing fact here. If you're new to the podcast, you won't have heard this. If you aren't new to the podcast, I'm happy to tell you it for the millionth time. <laughs> there is a restaurant that is a buffet restaurant in the Disney Village, and it was called La Grange. La Grange was on floor three of a place called Billy Bob's Tavern. Which yep. was on floors two and one. Nobody called it Lagrange, and everybody called it Billy Bob's, despite the fact that Billy Bob's was its own thing that sold food. So Disneyland <laughs> Paris, to clarify, built another restaurant. So we now have Lagrange that sells the same food as Billy Bob's the buffet, but neither sell the same food as Billy Bob's the not buffet. <laughs> on floors one and two. And yes. if that wasn't confusing enough, all four floors or all four restaurants that are available there go in through a door that's about 10 metres apart from each other. <laughs> I wish I was kidding. Um, naming is not something that Disneyland Paris apparently <laughs> takes very much time <laughs> to worry about. You know, we've got two buffets that serve the exact same food but are called different things. And then in between the two of them, we have two floors that are not buffets that share the name of one of the buffets. Yeah, pretty much. It, it, three are accessed through the left door and one is accessed through the right door. It is a fantastic mess that they have created there. A completely avoidable mess, but a mess nonetheless. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess so that's that really... adventure. That could be Disney World Adventure. <laughs> Find out the right be restaurant. Disney's Tex-Mex Adventure. Um, <laughs> so, so anyway, if you haven't had enough adventure, the first part of the lake is Adventure Bay. Oh, you forgot about Adventure Way. Adventure Way is the name of the promenade that's going to Adventure yeah, so, Bay. Yes, Adventure Way, which is the name of the promenade, is the way to Adventure Bay, so you can, in Adventure World, where you can sit in the regal view. This is trolling. Come on. This is April. This is an April <laughs> Fool's joke. This has been named by somebody's nephew that was doing the... the this is mental. Um, and you just know... what Does the lake have a name yet? Or is it Adventure Lake? I think... No, the, the, the lake's going to be Adventure Bay, I think. Surely the lake can't also be adventure. Oh, never mind. Nobody will ever know. <laughs> this is th yeah. just oh, this. You know, in Disneyland Paris, they have a lake. <laughs> the lake between the hotels in Disneyland Paris is called Lake Disney. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> just, it yeah. just makes no sense. Like any name they could have given it, <laughs> and they gave it all. We've run out of names. Let's try just calling it Lake Disney. Keep it which simple. is joined, which is joined by I kid you not the Disney River. Like, no way! What's the Disney River? The thing that runs along all the way to the Cheyenne. Oh wow! <laughs> wow! Well. Yeah, I know. It just is terrible. Anyway, and then well. um, we've got Damon in the chat saying now. Image Disney Adventure World will have a new amazing parade and DLP still has Disney Stars on Parade. Do you know what? You're 100% right. Stars on Parade will not die. It's probably going yeah. to be there for the 50th. Um, if they're clever, if they want Adventure World, and I looked at the colours and I thought, I recognise those colours. I think that they've probably just got Dream and Shine Brighter or... What was it? What was his real name? Was it Dream and Shine Brighter? Ready for the Ready for the Ride was the song. Dream and Shine Brighter was the parade. Yeah, that's exactly. probably just been hauled over to the back adventure world, and is probably going to be some sort of cavalcade parade. Because if they do that, people will go mad. <laughs> yes, uh, Dream and Shine Brighter was a kind of a big deal. Well, it was a big deal, but I mean, it had two. I mean, again, Disneyland Paris decided in all their wisdom to have two headline songs for the entire season. <laughs> and everybody, nobody called it Dream and Shine Brighter. Everybody called it Ready for the Ride, Ready which Ryan, you know, yeah. was, you know, it was. So the Ready for the Ride parade, which is actually called Dream and Shine Brighter, I am convinced will make a reappearance with Adventure World because. 
it sort of transcended what a seasonal parade normally does and you know it became bigger than the main parade so not awful. not hard to do the floats were awful they they were like glass oh, or make... with the painted glass they, they might have better floats well hopefully they might have adventure floats you never know adventure floats <laughs> <laughs> um, although, let's be honest, the parade's probably be called Disney's Adventure Parade at this rate. Yeah. You know, join us in. Yeah, probably. Join us on yeah. Adventure Promenade, Adventure Way Promenade, all the way up to Adventure <laughs> Bay, around Aven- Adventure Lake, and Disney's Adventure World with the Adventure Parade. <laughs> I mean, do you know you're having an adventure today? <laughs> I mean, when you, when you can find the adventure, they gotta say it until it becomes real, you know. Yeah, so wild. I guess that's that's their that's their play. Just absolutely, mind you, this is exactly what Island's Adventure does. Is it not like the world of Jurassic Park, the world of Harry Potter, the it world of is. you know what is it they call it Marvel Superhero Island, and yep. you know. Mm-hmm. Jojo, thank you for pointing out that I missed the word adventure while I was going through the adventures of Disney Adventure <laughs> World. I am ready Jojo. for my... In fact, it won't be, are you ready for the ride? It'll be, are you ready for the adventure? Wow. That's, the that's reimagining cool. of the hit parade. Um, wow. So, rolling on from that, because oh there, is, there is still more. There is still more. This is the relatively new bit, the bit that we're going to see this year. Um, and I forget its name, but it's the Alice in Wonderland Stunt Spectacular. The now with more Alice, adventure. Alice and the Queen of Heart Back to Wonderland. Well, that, <laughs> yeah. At least that has some name to it. Yeah, it is. It, it does have. It's quite a bit long, but uh, I mean, at least it's not... Alice in Wonderland's adventure or something. So, and we think it's going to be, we think it must be quite a good show because it's packing out. I mean, I forgot last time we spoke about how many people sit in that stadium, but it's a good six or seven thousand or something, if I remember. Yeah, I think it was five thousand, four thousand. I don't know. It takes a lot. It is very big, and um, you know, studios really needs capacity. So, capacity wise, especially now that it's a world. Yeah, exactly. Now it's a wor- well, it's not going to be a world until Frozen opens. So we have a- at least a year, you know, to get things in order. Um, but it- studios can have can use every bit of capacity it can get its hands on. So um, that's going to be a big deal. So we have we've we've shut off the tarmac. So instead, we we'll open the stadium. You can come and sit in. Um, what yeah. a trick! What a trick. Give them, I mean, a wee round of applause there for the sheer brilliance that's been displayed there. Now, I actually seen the Alice in Wonderland um, I forget what it was called. It's like a disco thing, like the White Rabbit Party or something at Disneyland, oh, uh, Disney's Disney California Land. Adventure. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was really good. I've got to tell you, it was very good and it had flames and it had people doing stunts and things. The Mad Hatter Tea Party. Thank you, Jojo, in the comments. It was the Mad Hatter Tea Party. Um, yeah, and it had it had DJs and it had um, it had really cool stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I, I think uh, this could be a show. This could yes, be a show. It's, it's going to be very similar to that concept, I guess. Um, yeah. You know, you're gonna have the BMX stunts and the the acrobatics, and um, it's 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 gonna be fun. I I think I hope. Um, and, um, you know, I'm looking forward to see how that turns out, how that translates into a show. Um, I was a bit worried when I saw the costumes, but from the song, I mean, have you heard the song, the Welcome to Wonderland song? It's, it's, no. quite, um, it's quite catchy. It's very catchy, and it's going to be a huge success. It's... Yeah, I was in a I so, was in a convention in Barcelona, so I was totally I mean, on our busiest day in the Discord. I was nowhere. I was nowhere to be found. <laughs> um, so well done to everybody who done that. Um, the Avengers Campus features um, in the the nonsense, and that is because I believe there's now a new show above the the 
on the rooftops and the skylines of Adventures Camp. Uh, the, the, <laughs> Avengers. <laughs> I, I'm, oh my god, I just got stuck and called it Adventures Campus. But <laughs> oh, the roofline of Avengers Adventure Avenged. Campus. Well. <laughs> There's going to be a new show. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so it came as a bit of a surprise. Um, but, but it's going to be the next level rooftop Avengers Campus show. And it's going to have two very cool characters, Doctor Strange and the Scarlet Witch, um, which is also the first time the Scarlet Witch is coming to Disney's Adventure World, or Disney Adventure World. Um, so that's going to be spectacular. It's going to have projections, and it's going to have all sorts of effects. And it, it's during the night also, so projections work. It's going to be um, like a fight, isn't it? Like probably, it's going to be... I guess, yes, I guess that's what they normally do over With there. With drones, maybe? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think they can use drones because they normally close Avengers Campus for the drone shows because they, uh, the drones lift off from Avengers Campus. Yeah, so, but the drones, the drones could be behind Avengers Campus now, yeah, effectively where I, the lake is. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think. I mean, I have no clue. I really have no clue. Yeah. Um, it would be very. They cool wouldn't to see. They, to they see they're the not going to hype it though, are they? I mean, they're not going to hype this great big show. Is it going and to be then... very big though? I don't know if it's going to be. Well, see, that they big. called it night. Call it nighttime spectacular. She did, and, uh, you know, I don't know. It's, it's a little less spectacular than your normal. <laughs> In adventure world, adventure doesn't stretch to the night time. <laughs> had to cut the budget somewhere. Yeah. Um, okay. But I, um, I don't know, other... because Avengers Campus doesn't have that much capacity to, to watch these shows. So yeah. when's the, when the, the, the nighttime spectaculars, the big nighttime spectaculars in Walt Disney Studios happen... They happen with everyone packed in uh, Plus the Stars. So mm -hmm. that big round area. Um, so, you know, if, I don't know how this is going to work out, um, but um, I'm hopeful it's going to be very good. So you're really hopeful it's going to be very good, but you think it's going to be very small? I, don't, I, don't, I didn't say very small. I think it's going to be the next level rooftop uh, mini show. That's it. okay. Okay. That's the it. next le the next level, but it's a mini show. Adventure. You didn't you didn't call it small, but you called it mini. Yeah. This is why it's, nobody yeah. trusts you when it comes to uh, restaurant recommendations. You know that. <laughs> um, for anybody who's not in the Discord and isn't in the chat, basically everybody in the Discord was wrong this week. Um, yeah, it was a shame to see everybody was wrong, and they thought that Walt Disney World had better food than Disneyland Paris. Which I must say, they were all wrong. Disneyland Just Paris. That's, um, that's not true. <laughs> it is that's absolutely not true. It is absolutely true. Um, well. Don't listen to these people. They enjoy sugar far too much, and they're addicted to sweet treats in Walt Disney World. Where the treats are better than Disneyland Paris. However, the actual food of Disneyland Paris is much better. Anyway, moving on, back to <laughs> adventure nonsense. We are on to the adventures that are happening outside the park and on to the, the Disney Village, the Disney Springs recreation, the Disney, you know, mm. cool new things are coming. So the first thing... The first thing that kind of springs to mind when I've seen this is they've put out new concept artwork, which makes it look a bit grander. It's a bit more open. It's a bit more Disney Springs-like rather than the sort of Gary, yep. um, horrible mm -hmm. architecture that was there before. Again, people of zero taste say the Frank Gary stuff was very good. It was not. It, it was probably good. very. It was very good in nineteen ninety eight, perhaps, but not now. Um, it looks yeah. like we've got video walls and effects, which I think they've got already in Disney World, Disney Springs. You can sort of see that down by whatever the Disney shops are down by Splitsville. Um, they've got the the little turny statue things that they had in what were they? The Creatures of Wonder or something? Um, <laughs> Creatures of the, the Gardens of Wonder. 
That was it. The creatures of wonder from the gardens of wonder in <laughs> Disneyland. Um, it looks like they've yeah. picked them up. They've kept them because nothing goes to waste in Disneyland Paris, you see. And the creatures of wonder yeah. have been moved into the village. Mm-hmm. Um, they're they're working on. We've seen plans now for the security booths. They're getting upgraded. Yes. So finally, um, before you no more before you begin your tired. before you begin your adventure, you will not have to go through the green tents. Yes. Um, there are some shops getting replaced. I really don't like that in the concept art they've managed to show as you can buy. You know that looks like a stitch sipper, a mini mouse. Um, suitcase and maybe a Lion King toy. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not wearing my glasses. Yeah, I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't really care about what's on those shelves. Yeah, but, uh, we're now but, getting yeah. the Disney Wonder Shop, which will replace the Disney Store, not to be confused mm-hmm. with the other the Disney Store. The world it's called of the, Disney. Yeah, so the now World it's of Disney, Disney Wonders and World of Disney. Yeah, that, wow. can, that well done again. The naming is fantastic. <laughs> We've got the... <laughs> Honestly, who comes up with this? Like, we're Disney Wonder Shop, and the world of Disney Shop, and the adventure of Disney Shop. Um, <laughs> and the Lego Shop's getting a little bit uh, snazzy. Yes. Statue outside it so, or something. Like, the, I, really, I really, truly like uh, how Disney Village will look like. According to these, the, these concepts, the outside, the stores are looking... Fabulous compared to what's there now. Um, so I'm really looking forward to see these new facades. And what's even more impressive is that they said this whole north block of facades and stores should be ready this year. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, and I'm, you know, I really like that it has trees now, which is something amazing. And the concrete mm-hmm. floors are no longer there. They're, you know, better, I guess. So I'm, I'm, but truly, I'm really looking forward to seeing this renewed Disney Village. Um, yeah. So Damon just said on the on the chat. Yes, I guess those are going to be some LED, f- um, you know, LED infused facades. Um, so yeah, they look very good. Yeah. I think Catology Light Flight Force will have a mesh on top. I think that's probably probably how they're going to do it. That's oh, how they do it, in, they do it in Disney Springs, that sort of way. Um, then then we roll... In fact, we've seen McDonald's as well. McDonald's is getting a makeover to be kind of... Um, McDonald's is getting a, a completely new restaurant. Yeah, they gave... The, the design in there was that bad. They gave up now. Um, yeah. So that was that. Um... Next, instead, it's the Davy Crockett Ranch. Um, Mm -hmm. Yes. That doesn't surprise me, and I'll tell you why. The Davy Crockett Ranch are all individual, so it's really easy to do them. They don't Mm -hmm. require shutting down the main hotel. And the second big thing is it's the Paris Olympics. And I would... (laughs) I don't think Disneyland Paris want to take that much capacity out of their hotels over the Olympics. Hmm. Okay. So the new um, bungalows, you can call that bungalows, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. They're going to start being replaced this year. So it has new, uh, a new c- completely refreshed look. The, um, mm-hmm. And um, I think they look uh, very nice. I've never stayed in Davy Crockett's Ranch. Have you stayed in Davy Crockett's Ranch? No. I, I, it doesn't have I really it. There's no bus to... or anything to it. So yes, exactly. It... That's that's my that's my you know big problem with it. Uh, you need to have a car. Um, so yeah, I if I think because I think I really the truth is, I think the Sequoia Lodge will be done. I just think the Sequoia Lodge will be done after the Olympics. Yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. I think so too. Uh, we saw that they had. The um, test uh, hallways and yeah. a DLP report also published. I think it was like a big master plan of the entire hotel. So they definitely have those things 
ready you know, yeah. planned out um but um a lot of people thought we would hear something about Sequoia Lodge this this last Friday so I wonder if anything's going on with with it and they decided to you know push it back um I just think it's not this year so the week I think it literally is just it's not this year so we'll announce it later um yeah um, the other thing is they've done their whole partnership with like Disney Nature and everything where they're projecting National Geographic stuff on the castle. So, I, you know, that's kind of their National Geographic hotel, isn't it? Yeah, so that's uh, reportedly their, their plan. Um, yeah. We'll see how that, um, if that confirms or, or not. So, let's quickly recap... Um, the Walt Disney Studios Park is going to be renamed Disney Adventure World. Um, World of Frozen will be the first inhabitant, new inhabitant of this world. When all the other ones will just become um, part of that. Um, we haven't heard any information on the the third land. So adventure. Uh, oh God, I done that again. Avengers Campus <laughs> was World One. Frozen is World Two. And it is rumoured that Lion King will be World 3. Yes. Um, we believe, strongly, that the third land will be announced at D23. Um, mm-hmm. I say that as because the collective knowledge of the intelligent people in this Discord believe that to be so. Um, personally, I don't think they'll do it because that would just make too much sense. <laughs> um, so <laughs> don't, don't bank on it. The adventure world we're talking about. Yeah. Um so let's let's abstract ourselves from Disneyland Paris. We've we've covered have I think we've covered everything. Um I think so. Yeah. We've covered I mean if you haven't if you want to catch up and you don't want the funny wit and charm that um we bring to the podcast, you should absolutely go and watch Bernardo's video. Which yes. talks all about it in great detail and has lots of nice pictures and everything. This podcast will be available probably in terrible audio on YouTube. <laughs> and on podcast places, um, we are um, we are being encouraged, and as a team, we're trying to make the podcast a little bit better, and it will maybe be a little bit more produced in future. Um, but right now, it's not very well produced. Yeah, let's move on though. So let's Universal on, Universal it's GB, written. yes, they held an yeah. event, didn't they? What was that about? They've held two public events now, so two public engagement events. Uh, one was held uh, last Saturday, and one was held just today. It ended a um, couple of hours ago, actually. I didn't um, even know that was happening. Yeah, it was. So if you ever buy uh, Bedford, uh, you know, just check out uh, universalukproject.uk. No, sorry, .co.uk. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So, so I'll need to, I'll need to go along. I actually I mean I, I don't live near Bedford, but the next time there's a big meeting, I I probably should head down and just you know be there in person. Yeah, I, I like to to see these um, these public events because they've been you know this is such a big project that if if it moves forward, uh, it's going to change the whole area quite a lot. So they what they are saying is they. They began this period of public engagement to hear local feedback on the on the proposal. So yeah. that just happened. That just finished. So it'll be interesting to see what comes next. They've released a lot of new information in the past week or weeks. They've released a site uh, master plan, which showcased, you know, how they plan on using the site from. Where would be where would be a possible theme park, the retail, entertainment, and dining location, which is City Walk, and a hotel, the car parks, so the transportation hub. So there's a lot to 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 see in these PDFs they shared, um, yeah. which just you know are pointing in the right direction. You know, we obviously I don't know if they're moving forward, if they can move forward, if something comes up, if something doesn't come up. Uh, but so far, it looks like they're really um, trying this out and seeing if it can happen. 
I mean, I'm very impressed. Most projects in the UK are dead by this point. So, yeah, they've done not bad. They've managed to keep their project yeah. alive, and in general, I think people are quite excited by it. Um, that still doesn't preclude us finding an ancient tree or something that I'll get yeah, in the road. There'll be a protected uh, bat yes, or something. Yeah, when it comes to, to the public perception, uh, Paige Thompson, which is uh, one of the most important people in Universal Destinations, um, so he said that um, public perception is being, has been great so far, and a lot of people are on board with the project and are very happy to see um, this project being proposed, so that's great to hear. Um, yes. if, you, if we want to delve a little bit into the rumor realm, I've seen over on some forums uh, Alicia Stella, who also has a fantastic, truly fantastic uh, YouTube channel and uh, page, which is Theme Park Stop. She commented on a, a bit of rumors saying that it was possible that we hear a... Uh, an answer to whether they're going to build it or not this summer. So that would be pretty fantastical. AKA, did Universal, sorry, did Port Adventure sell to Universal cheaply enough or not? <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that whole, whole situation uh, uh, evolves. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we, what about, <laughs> that's, that's what happens here. Um, the other, the other big piece of news that we we had is they're moving on and they've started announcing more itineraries for the cruise ships as they get closer to finished. Um, mm -hmm. There's nothing. I don't think there's anything stellar in it. Like it, it's more confirmation of what experiences are on board and you know how many days they'll sail for and where they'll sail. Yep. Nothing. Nothing. I mean, if you're desperate to be on the cruise ship, I don't imagine it matters where it sails. Do they have a cruise ship coming this year, or is it next year? Next year. And what's the name of this new cruise ship? Oh, you, you... I knew you were going to ask that question, and I knew I wasn't going to know it. You always ask the finite details here, and I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's. I mean, it's going to be named... Maybe we'll see. Yeah, intelligent people are here with us. So I mean, <laughs> the, these questions are all very good. Um, yeah. The you know so they, just, just the, uh, the treasures maiden voyage is in December. Oh, so it's going this year. Oh, is so it? Is it late? Treasure. Oh, it's in, it's in yeah, December. December. That might have been the news. Okay. Yeah. So the treasures oh, yeah. June twenty twenty four. The um, Disney Adventure is June 2025, and the Destiny is June 2025. Okay, so this year we'll have the new Disney Cruise, so that's, that's exciting. It's kind of funny that the big ship they bought, the Global Dream, they're renamed yep. to Disney's Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Disney Adventure World and Disney Adventure Ship. <laughs> oh... Oh <laughs> what, what do you do with this news? But yeah, the tre the treasures maiden voyage. So they've announced they've announced some itineraries and some nonsense around that. Um, mm -hmm. the, the the Disney Cruise Line fans. I mean, I looked in Disney Cruise Line and looked into the. It's so expensive compared to every other cruise on the planet. Yeah, it is. It is quite expensive. Mm -hmm. So, not particularly in a rush to go and try all them. Um, and I think that probably is all that we we kind of have that's new. I don't think there's anything else that's kind of new. Um, no, we don't. We don't have. We the still app. don't have an opening date the, for Tiana's. So the that's app is going to be better. The, the what? The the the, the not say the app was going to be better. You can finally open the hotel door or something with it. Yeah, that's. I think that's uh, exclusive to uh, Disneyland and uh, the Art of Marvel hotels. So only the yeah, two so. most expensive ones. But I mean, that's a good start, I guess. Um, I mean, it'll never see. work. Probably not. But neither do, to... neither do the Magic Bands. <laughs> You'll I mean, have to Magic log in every. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to log in every single time you want to <laughs> to enter your your room. Yeah. I mean, you laugh, but there's a good possibility. Oh, why can't I get into the toilet? Oh, I've got to log in. <laughs> I'm oh. laughing. 
so I can so I don't cry, but it, it it's 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 yeah, it's gonna happen definitely. If you book if you book a Disney holiday through Disney, you can do early check in via the app. If you do early check in via the app, they still ask you to fill out the form when you arrive. <laughs> 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 I was like, what was the yeah. point in doing it early? She goes, oh, well, you could have printed it off at home and brought it with you. I was like, oh my. <laughs> Who came up? What adventure is this? What adventure? The adventure of she- check-in. Oh, wow. Yeah. It truly is an adventure of a lifetime. It truly is an adventure. <laughs> um, Disneyland Paris. I think that is probably all we have to cover. Um, thank yes. you very much to everybody for joining us on this adventure. Adventure. Of a podcast. Wow. Where yes. we discussed, you know, Disney's Adventure World, all the way up Adventure Way to Adventure Bay, Adventures <laughs> at Avengers Campus, with the <laughs> Adventure Boat, and I'm sure we're going to have many adventures on the rooftops of Avengers Campus, before yes, going see. to Alice's Magical Adventure, um, <laughs> in the... <laughs> <laughs> what was the Walt Disney Studios? I'm glad it's getting an overhaul. I'm glad it's getting renamed. Ultimately, it's quite yeah. funny. Um, it well done to Disneyland Paris, and you know it was a really nice event. And thank you so much, genuinely thank you so much to JoJo, who yes. very <laughs> kindly stepped into the breach and um, took up our inside ear spot. We have an inside ear spot. Nobody knows why we have an inside ear spot. <laughs> You you have the inside. Well, of I have nothing. The pro the problem is like I I was on inside ear back when I when I run a blog and everything and I can't really be I can't really bother to do it anymore. So Discord was the replacement for the blog and the channel and all that. And Bernardo was very kind and came on board very early. And so we're it's all kind of a big team now. And whoever <laughs> whoever can go will go to these events. And yeah. we we. We got some good first-hand information. It's always kind of nice to be in the room because you get a, a, an idea of the atmosphere. You get an idea of what's being said. You get to look in the whites of people's eyes and be like, are you telling me lies? Um, <laughs> so thank you very much to Jojo who, you know, very travelled all, <laughs> traveled all the way to Disneyland Paris for us to go in <laughs> and sit there and listen to it live. Um, yes. And, you know and then report back on it, and certainly to everybody, thank you so much. The Discord grew about 100 people in one day, and it just goes to show that when we do these live events, um, be it, you know, be it us talking on the podcast, which is quite small, to Mm -hmm. the the Disney live events, to I think when there's a new show, we try and do a live, we try and pick up a live stream. I think, did we do that with the the, I think so. Yeah, the we Sky did. Parade, yeah. Disney Sky Parade. Mm-hmm. We're here for, I think, the New Year's Eve shows, the Bastille Day shows. We're here for anything that's new, anything that's novel. We do the financial events. We do, you know, thank you so much to everybody who joins us. And if you're listening to the podcast and anything and you're not in the Discord, please click the link in the, the description wherever you are listening to this because the the podcast is an absolute recap of the fun that we have in the Discord all week, um, <laughs> almost every week, and we talk absolute rubbish and share. It is not capped. It's not. <laughs> nobody gets in trouble, so you can share from any source you like, and the rumours don't have to be true. In fact, the wilder they are, probably the more we'll talk about them. So that yeah. is my little piece said. I don't know if you've got anything to say, Bernardo, but thank you so much, everybody. No, no, just a big thank you to, to everyone who joined and to everyone that, you know, um, built this place. Uh, it's crazy we now have more than 500 members. Um, so, yeah, just thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much, everybody. That has been the Disney Discord podcast. Thank you so much for listening, and we are out.